amazing like that. Superb stuff. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. He hits it across the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult for him. And then the player coming in is alert for the rebound. What a good goal that is. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Spain against England. Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. Here's the lineup for Spain. Grimaldo starts with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Dani Olmo plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Might lead to a chance. Can he put it in? Not out of the woods yet. Well, you can't argue with finishing like that. Superb stuff. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. He hits it across the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult for him. And then the player coming in is alert for the rebound. What a good goal that is. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Bukayo Saka. And England being afforded too much space. Can he finish? And fine goalkeeping. They take it short. John Stones. And will it be the leveller? Oh, denied by the post. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Rodri. Pedri. And Torres on the ball. The possession lost, intercepted. Now, who can he play it to? A fine reading of the situation. Pedri. Torres. Will it be? Must finish. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. And over comes the corner. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Nacho Fernandez. Firing is in. Huge block. Elects to go short. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. But fisted away by the goalkeeper. Punching it clear. The ball back with England now. Pedri. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Pedri. He needed to get there and did, but still the possibility. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Mikel Marino. And threading it through. Take command in the final and 
just look at the celebrations here. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Alexander-Arnold. Harry Kane. Good through ball. Alexander-Arnold. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, he's certainly not alone. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Kane. Now with Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold. And Bellingham. Chance for the leveller. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Laporte. Pedri. The ball with Rodri. And having a goal! But the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. And the referee playing advantage. Effective challenge. Feeding it through. Real chance. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So back underway at 3-1. Oh, that's a really good run. In a decent position now. Well, that's not what... Well, what a stop that was. Well, opting for the short corner. Resting like that will help the cause. Kane. A concession of a corner here. Let's see about the delivery. And so it is. The first half story has been written. And the ball is rolling again. England left with a massive mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? This looks more than decent. Harry Kane! Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. Space on the flank. Grimaldo. Who can he pick out? In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Well, that one has promise. Kane. Very quick thinking there. Not the pass he had in mind. An awful lot of green space to run into.
And behind it's gone for a corner. And taken short. And Spain struggling to keep the ball. Decent position. No way through. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Mikel Marino. The ball with Rodri. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Perfect tackle. So a half an hour remaining. Jude Bellingham. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Trying to deliver it accurately. Now the counter-attack looks on. Well, they promised much on the break, but ultimately delivered little. Ferran Torres. Here's Carvajal. Rodri. Mikel Marino. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Alexander Arnold. And he stopped them in their tracks. A run to Rome on the wing. Trying his luck. Oh, fine stop. Harry Kane. Bukayo Saka. Walker now. Walker. Textbook defending inside the box. Mikel Marino. Williams. Rodri. Incisive pass. He can't hold on to it. Emphasis on the clearance. A good one. no way through now what can England do from this position could reduce the deficit and he does there is hope for them despite the adversity they suffered earlier well the game has been restarted 3-2 here Mikel Marino. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Well, possibilities inside the box. Can they stop it going in? And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? And an astute piece of defending. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go. And just one goal between them. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. Mikel Marino. Really good challenge. Foden.
Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Safe pair of hands, did his job. And there goes the final whistle. Spain have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserving champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now, with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Spain! What a great moment for these players. Absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament. Lead to a chance. Not out of the woods yet.